If you are an AI agency owner or business owner, chances are you're spending too much on your AI phone systems without realizing it. After building AI phone systems for five different industries, both inbound and outbound, I've identified seven key areas where businesses often overspend. In this video, I'll break down each area from platform choice to optimizing your voice model and show you how to cut costs without sacrificing quality. If you don't take action, you're pretty much just wasting money. Even if you think you've tried everything, these industry tested strategies will open up new opportunities for savings. And as a special bonus, I'll also show you how to get two and a half thousand dollars in open AI credits for free. So stick around into the end. The selection of AI models is a crucial area for cost optimization. For those familiar with OpenAI's offerings, you'll recognize GPT-4 as their most advanced and expensive option, and GPT-3.5 as the most budget-friendly and least complex model, yet still robust enough for applications like voice assistants. Between these two, there are models like GPT-4.0 and GPT-4.0 Mini, which strike a balance between cost efficiency and processing speed. Opting for GPT-3.5 is a pretty straightforward way to reduce expenses immediately for simpler tasks that don't require extensive processing. However, you'll want to consider the GPT-4 models for more complex prompts. The complexity and length of your prompt determine the processing load. More detailed prompts require more from the AI, requiring the capabilities of GPT-4 GPT-4 or GPT-4.0. It's really beneficial to explore multiple providers. Platforms like Vapi support various AI models and experimenting with each can help you identify the most cost-effective solution for your specific needs. Predicting which model will best suit your requirements is often challenging without directly testing it. Be mindful that the cost can also vary based on the number of tokens used in your prompt a topic I will dive into later in the video. So this really shows the importance of testing across different models to ensure optimal performance and cost efficiency for your use case. A wide variety of AI phone platforms are now available, each with different pricing structures. While some platforms offer monthly subscriptions plus usage fees, others only charge based on the usage. To help you find the most cost effective option, I've compared seven different AI phone caller platforms in another video. I do recommend watching it to determine which platform suits your needs the best. The right choice may vary depending on your requirements but you can save money by selecting the appropriate platform. Additionally, in the video, I provide insights into the features and benefits of each platform, highlighting how they could fit different needs. The comparison will guide you in making an informed decision, ensuring that you manage the costs effectively and maximize the amount of value that you get from that chosen AI phone platform. The voice model is one of the most significant cost factors. It generates audio from AI model outputs, with 11 Labs being one of the most established providers known for its highly realistic voices. This is crucial for AI phone systems as the voice quality directly impacts the user's perception of realism. For outbound systems where recipients might not be expecting a call, opting for the highest quality voice model is advisable to avoid dissatisfaction. Conversely, some flexibility in voice quality might be acceptable for inbound systems where the callers seek assistance and expect interaction with an AI. For us, it's best practice to actually inform the callers at the beginning of the interaction that they are speaking with an AI agent. This transparency has enhanced caller response and overall call efficiency without really any negative feedback from our extensive client testing. For those seeking cost-effective alternatives without compromising on the quality, Cartesia is a really great option. Play HD is another popular choice, though its pricing is pretty similar to Eleven Labs. The market offers a variety of voice models allowing for tailored choices based on specific needs. Now, since I'm in Australia, I prefer using some of the Australian accents, though options are pretty limited outside of Eleven Labs and PlayHT. However, for American accents, several high quality options are available across different platforms. I do encourage trying various models to find the best balance between cost and quality. A lesser known factor that many overlook is the impact of prompt length on the cost of using AI models. These models operate on a system where charges are based on the number of input and output tokens used. The more information fed into the system, the higher the cost, and similarly, the more information it outputs, the higher the expense. Limiting the amount of information supplied in the prompt is pretty advantageous in curbing these costs. One practical approach is employing a retrieval augmented generation system, also known as a knowledge base, where it just stores information in documents and only pulls the necessary data rather than loading all of that information simultaneously. Additionally, reducing the context and amount of unnecessary words in our prompts with the AI can further reduce costs. Several GPTs offer features that help condense text, effectively stripping out any extra details. Furthermore, distributing the load across multiple shorter prompts with different agents can also help manage costs, a strategy I'll dive into later in the video with multiple agents. An often overlooked cost when implementing AI phone systems is the potential for excessive call durations. Since callers can engage with these systems at any time, there is a risk of unintended extended usage and deliberate abuse, leading to increased operational costs. Not all users may 
AI promptly end their calls, inadvertently allowing the AI to continue running and accumulating charges. Implementing a maximum call duration can be highly effective in mitigating this issue. By setting a call time limit, such as three to four minutes or whatever aligns with the typical expected call lengths, any active calls would be automatically disconnected once the threshold is reached. This approach might seem quite strict, but it's necessary to prevent the minority of calls that extend from inflating costs disproportionately. This safeguard helps manage expenses and maintains the system's efficiency by preventing potential bottlenecks caused by these unnecessarily long calls. Leveraging multiple AI agents within a single call system efficiently expands your operational scope while maintaining cost effectiveness. Platforms like Vapi utilize squads to integrate various agents each designed to handle specific service inquiries. Similarly, platforms as Bland, Retail, Synflow offer alternatives for distributing tasks among multiple agents. This approach distributes responses according to service type, distributing costs evenly across agents. The AI model can also assess whether a caller needs to be transferred to another agent facilitating a seamless transition during the call. Enhancing this experience and changing the agent's voice can also create the impression of a more personalized service from multiple helpers, further optimizing the user experience. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a video covering a very cost-effective agent built using Vapi squads. In my recent video, I explored a lesser known strategy involving third-party AI tools, specifically VoiceFlow. VoiceFlow is a user-friendly, low-code platform for developing AI agents. It features an intuitive canvas designer that simplifies building complex agent workflows. One of the most significant advantages of using VoiceFlow is its efficiency in optimizing tasks compared to traditional prompts. This can significantly reduce the token costs. So for those interested in a more cost-effective third-party solution, I suggest watching my previous video in which I delve deeper into how VoiceFlow achieves these savings. And now as a bonus, I'll show you how to instantly gain $2,500 in value by accessing free OpenAI credits. Just visit the Microsoft Founders AI Startups program, which I've linked below. Microsoft offers these credits through their partnership with OpenAI to help new tech entrepreneurs accelerate their projects. I've personally redeemed these credits successfully. This is an efficient strategy to reduce overhead costs on your AI phone systems quite significantly. Once you've signed up and received your credits, generate an API key from your account and integrate this into your AI phone platform to start saving immediately. To see a comparison between seven different AI phone caller platforms, click this video on the right.